um, eastern face of the Rira Docks. There's a few examples here. There's a big example, which is Christopher Jordan. And there's medieval musical notation beneath it. So I'm looking, I'm sort of comparing our current views that graffiti is vandalism and it's illegal and I'm sort of comparing it with the medieval period um, when it was obviously quite acceptable. I'm looking at um, the idea of what, why was it allowed, um, when was it allowed and when did it become not allowed. This is the earliest part of the building here. Uh, this is early Gothic, this dates at 1220, um, and this is the beginning of the building. But a lot of the graffiti up here, it's, it's devotional, as you can see, there's this consecration cross here. And there's lots and lots of different crosses, so it's obviously pilgrims who are coming to inscribe a cross. And it's a way of them leaving their mark, and also them also taking something away, in the knowledge that they've left something. Um, just beneath the shrine of St. John. This is the fourth church which is here actually. Um, the, there was previously three other buildings devoted to St. John and this is the fourth building.